Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, and I'm out walking here by Inks Lake, Inks Lake, Inks Lake State Parks to the right and all around me. But this is Inks Lake, and once a year, or not once a year, once every now and then, LCRA lowers the lake so people can work on their docks, and it also has something to do with, I don't know, plant populations that gather and stuff. But I used to come right here and put in a kayak. You ain't going to do it now unless you want to just paddle around the mud. <laughs> but this is all granite rock. I remember I did a video about landing on Mars. <laughs> this is the Mars landscape. This is all pink granite. I'm doing this with my Pixel 3a phone. So I won't let it go too long because it takes forever to upload it. Uh, a uh, three, a 20 minute video takes up three and a half gigabytes of data. I mean, that's the lowest setting. The 720p resolution that was on it for a while disappeared with an update. So, but anyway, this is, it's neat. I mean, I'm just walking down here on this granite rock. There's some trails that go off in there into the state park. And this video uh, is just for you guys to see what this area of Texas looks like a little closer up rather than driving down the highway. 50 miles an hour. There's a big old crane of some kind. But it looks eerie, doesn't it? All those dead trees out there. But I can remember I packed my little kayak right down to this area right here. That's where the water came up to, right in this area right here. You can't see my hand. There it is right there. But uh, yeah, we're going to go down here a little ways. Uh, well, I can't go that way because it's a sort of a semi-dead end. But this old granite rock, man, I'm telling you, it is. It, this is one of the few places on the planet that you've got an abundance of this uh, pink granite. And we've got it. They cut it into slabs and put it on buildings and homes and make uh, countertops and stuff. But yeah, there's the lake. Let me zoom a little bit here. There's the lake, a puddle of the lake right over there. But we're surrounded with, uh, you know, cedar, juniper, same thing, or close. And it's a uh, nice day. It's right now, it's probably in the middle 50s, uh, maybe. The wind's out of the north right now, I think. But if you were staying at Inks Lake State Park, let me zoom all the way out here, uh, there are some trails that come. Uh, that come right along this side here and you can go all the way out you can follow the trails and go all the way out to a point way out here and you can climb over those hills and stuff if you choose to there's trails all around in this park but anyway I was just cruising down the highway and I thought you know why don't I just stop and show these folks a little better close-up of this granite that we've been driving by and uh, this actually, again, was the Martian landscape when I landed on Mars, if you ever watched that video. If you never watched my Mars video, just go to the, uh, my video or my channel and search, do a search for Mars. <laughs> you want to see a silly video, that'll do it. That was one of my record breakers there. I was just driving down the highway and I thought, you know, that kind of looks like Mars. Anyway, in my mind, I created a whole scene, a scenario, so... But anyway, just to show you a little bit more of a close-up of Texas, the area I live in, and why I live here. I love this beautiful uh, pink granite rock and uh, the trees. There's, you know, there's oaks. That's an oak tree of some type there. I don't know. It looks like it might be a live oak. I could be wrong. I know this one over here. That's a live oak over there. We'll zoom a little bit and let you take a look at it. But yeah, that's a live oak. And they're, they're good trees. They're... they're green all year round what do you call it perennials is that right i don't know that's a good word for those of you that know what it is just act like i, I did it right but just a quickie guys from central texas let me zoom a little bit and i'll show you some houses lakefront houses on the other side over there get up there that's five times and yeah th those are some really expensive homes up in here well that's a little too close right, See, right over in there get my finger out of the way it's funny the camera will focus on anything that moves but having said that guys from central texas uh on inks lake actually this is inks lake and right adjacent to me is the state park 
I've been there a few times and a lot of you that have watched my channel have been there too but this is a this used to be a good fishing spot <laughs> and you know I wonder you know there, there's animals that depend on this you know that live in this brush and stuff and they come up one day and all the water's gone you know I guess they adapt anyway guys thumbs up where's my thumb thumbs up adios bye bye buy anything you want use the Amazon link if you choose to uh, it takes a little extra effort, but it doesn't cost you a penny. You don't want to fool with it, don't. Drink plenty of water, stretch, walk. Stand guard at the door of your mind. You know, i got to tell you something, too. When I was out walking this morning for exercise, I noticed that the uh, birds are chirping. A lot of birds are chirping. So, you know, to me, that's always a sign of, quote, of, quote early spring. And maybe we are going to have a little early spring because we have some temperatures next week in the 60s and 50s and and then it bounces right back up into the middle 70s like it's going to be today, 75. So it could be. I hope so. I, I, uh, I like the spring weather here. So anyway, guys, enjoy your day. Stand guard at the door of your mind. Keep your health. Adios. Bye-bye.